Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I will be spilling all of the tea when it comes to my personal experience with Oka Water. And this review stems from me trying Oka Water for about four months consistently. Now, did I drink it every single day? No. But I sure did have this handy dandy jug of water that I would have in my refrigerator at least once every other week. So I would drink this consistently like two to three cups of water every day at least three days out of the week every other week if that makes sense basically ever since I post my first video I have been drinking okra water and I definitely have some feedback to share with y'all okay because prior it was just research that I found online and all the benefits that it claimed to have now I can pretty much back up some of them not all but I can back up some and I'm going to go in depth with that in this video. But before we hop on into this video, y'all already know the drill, okay? If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below along with that notification bell so you are notified every time you girl post a new video, okay? You don't wanna miss out. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy my content. Share this video with a friend. I like to say save a friend because you never know what kind of information can impact someone. And I truly think okra specifically the water is worth trying out and I can sense this video being a little lengthy so go ahead and grab your snacks get real comfortable get you a glass of okra water okay and sit back enjoy relax and let me tell you this tea because boy is it a lot let's hop on into it now shall we now if you're a little confused on how we got to this four month okra water update go ahead and check out my very first video here on my channel where i showed you my interest about okra water and the benefits that i found online that were associated with it along with how to properly clean and just prepare your okra water in general check this video out so you are in the loop and if you want to see my experience of trying okra water every single day for a week, go ahead and check out this video. All right, so the first three benefits that I noticed that I'm going to categorize in one big bubble would be blood sugar regulation, digestive health, and weight management. There are claims that say okra water helps to stabilize blood sugar levels, which can be very beneficial if you have diabetes or you have a high risk of developing diabetes. And okra contains fiber, which can really help with your digestion and alleviate some constipation problems because it does promote healthy bowel movements. And I can attest to that. I personally saw weight management as well when it came to fasting. So I have been trying to fast a lot more as of recently, and I have tried water fasting. It is quite a challenge for me still. However, I have found okra waters to be so helpful when I'm fasting because it helps me feel super full and hydrated and full of energy. And honestly, it does help with weight management. There was a point when I did a raw vegan lifestyle and you guys, I drank okra water quite a bit throughout that process and my stomach was flat, flat, okay? The, the abs are starting to peak out with minimum workouts because everything was just smooth sailing okay I felt full I was fueling my body with so many good nutrients and I had so much energy to work out and feel excited so I definitely see the impact when it comes to the overall digestive and weight management and just overall blood sugar levels because if I'm feeling super down and like drain I honestly reach for a glass of okra water I feel hydrated I feel energized almost instantly. The next benefit that I kind of touched on is hydration. You guys, okra water is no joke, okay? Whenever I'm feeling really low in energy or super dehydrated, I make a fresh batch of okra water and it's like instant energy, instant hydration. It's amazing. And if you pair this with coconut water, yeah, it's like electrolyte heaven. Check out my previous video if you guys want to see how to make your okra water taste delicious. Not only does pairing it with coconut water make it taste delicious, it also makes you feel completely hydrated. And in result of that, your skin looks so glowy, dewy, youthful. May I go on? Like, whenever I'm super consistent with okra water, my skin is just like beaming of a natural glow. Like, it's so visible. So, I definitely see like clearer skin as well 
linked to that hydration that Oka Water gives you. Oka Water will definitely be a staple for me for this upcoming summer heat because I don't know where you guys are at, but this sun is keeping it a hundred every single day. Like, yeah. So, Oka Water it is. The next benefit is heart health. Due to the fiber and the antioxidants, and the potassium and okra, it can help the overall health of your heart by reducing cholesterol levels and regulating blood pressure. Now, I have not mentioned this topic yet on my channel. Um, still currently going through it. However, I did have a really, really intense health scare a while ago, and it had to do with inflammation and my heart health. And that was one of the main reasons I decided to try okra water. You guys have seen, I've really been trying to take my health a lot more seriously this year. And I'm not playing about it, okay? So I have for sure seen a huge impact. I have been taking a lot of like lab work and tests and doctor appointments. And for a while, it has been shaky in terms of like the levels that I needed to meet or the numbers that I needed to meet. It was just up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm not kidding you when I say that ever since I've been consistently drinking Oka water, things have been leveling out so effortlessly. Now, it can be so many different factors that attributed to my heart health, but I no longer have to take medication. Thank God. So I just know that last year it was up and down, up and down like a seesaw. This year, balanced, smooth sailing, okay? So it's safe to say that me and Oka Water go together. We're like this. We're for lifers. Do people even say that anymore? Anyways. I love it and I definitely think it helped me in terms of like the reduction of inflammation and just regulating blood sugar levels. Now the next benefit is immune support. I didn't pay too much attention to this one but it's definitely worth mentioning because ever since I posted that video and I've been consistently drinking Oka water, I haven't been sick yet. So I don't get sick easily though, so it's like I don't want to say too much on this, but I definitely think it helps because we all know when you're feeling sick or low in energy, you need to be hydrated. And what does this do? Helps you with hydration. So if you're currently sick or really low in energy, I recommend incorporating Oka water as one of your liquids. It will keep you super hydrated. And if you add it with coconut water, you'll have your electrolytes. Now, last but certainly not least, is the benefit for menstrual pain and cramps and the overall time span. You guys, when I say, just try it now. Try it now if you have an issue when it comes to your menstrual cycle. I feel like no one tells us about this specific benefit. And when I initially shared it with you guys based on research, I saw that yes, it helps with women when it comes to lubrication and when it comes to childbirth, it helps with that. It's amazing for that. But did I see menstrual benefits? No, I did not. But did I experience that? Yes, I did. And I feel like a lot of other women are experiencing it as well because I've seen some people give their feedback online and you guys, I can relate. I can totally agree with them. When I tell you Oka water works wonders when you are on your cycle, you guys. Just to give you a quick background, me and Miss Period, yeah, we're, we're not friends, okay? We we don't get along. I would like to say I am a survivor of excruciating pain. When I tell you, I'm talking fetal position, throwing up, nausea, shaking, cold sweats, like I need assistance from my mother to just function, to survive, calling out of work, not able to go to school. Like it was so, so, so bad. Thank you, Jesus. It is no longer like that. Not to that extent where it's just like, I can literally go to the hospital because it's so bad, but it is still a little painful. I have my moments where the pain is rough. Now, thankfully, my pain is definitely not as bad as it used to be when I was younger, but I'm just saying, when it comes to menstrual cycles, my pain tolerance is incredibly high and I have been through some things, okay? So if you are having pain, I most likely can relate to it. So I do have prescribed pain medication still that I can take when needed, but I don't have to use it very often. I typically use a heating pad. I love to have hibiscus tea, raspberry tea, things like that. 
But I said this time around, I'm going to do an experiment and see how Oka water helps me. And y'all, the results were amazing. Long story short, I had my menstrual cycle a few weeks ago and the pain was really, really bad on the first day. So I tried my best, I did my typical methods and it was just really bad. And I thought to myself, hey, I, let me try open water because the last cycle I did it on and off and it was good. I didn't have any pain. I felt like a normal person. I cannot believe some of you guys are so blessed that you just live your normal lives during your cycle. But anyways, the previous month I felt good because I was drinking Oka water throughout that week. I wasn't thinking much of it. I just felt good. But this time I'm like, I'm going to be really intentional and I'm going to drink Oka water like three, four times a day if I have to. And on the second day, you guys, I had no pain. I just drank Oka water throughout the day. That's all I drink. And then on the third day, my cycle was getting shorter. Now typically I'm about five, maybe even seven days. It was like three to four days. She was gone. The pain was not there. And I was shocked. I was like, there's, there's no way. And then I was going online to just like, see if I was tripping. Like maybe it's just me. No, there are so many women that have said this helps them as well. So I say all this to say, if you are going through it when it comes to your menstrual cycle, you have bad cramps and pain, try okra water out consistently. I would drink it about three times a day. And let me know in the comments if it works for you because I think this information can literally save someone. Like I can only imagine if I knew about this when I was younger. But yeah, it definitely helps alleviate pain. I didn't feel anything after I started drinking it consistently throughout my cycle and shorter periods. So try it out y'all, you might love it. <laughs> As you guys know, I love to do my research that helps back up my theories and my personal experiences. There are legit reasons why okra helps you when you are experiencing your menstrual cycle. And here are a few. I'm just gonna run through them really quick on my notes. All right, so we already mentioned that it helps with hydration, which is super important, specifically during your cycle because your body is already losing fluids. Okra also contains iron, which is beneficial for women that have heavy bleeding when it comes to their menstruation. It has fiber, which helps with constipation. As we mentioned, okra can help to stabilize blood sugar levels, which overall just helps us manage our mood swings. PMS and lastly it has a vitamin C that helps with our immune system like we mentioned along with magnesium which can help to relax the muscles and overall tension cramping things to that nature but before we end this video I'm gonna quickly hop into a Q&A which are just basically frequently asked questions that I received in my previous videos that I wanted to address here for you guys and yeah that's gonna be it y'all all right you guys so I have the questions on my computer so I will be looking down frequently but the first question is is what is the ratio basically for okra and water like how do you know how many pieces of okra to use so what I like to say is if you're making like a single serving size of okra water which a lot of people like to do um, like so say you have a mason jar I would recommend two to three pieces of okra now for the jug of water you guys saw earlier I typically use about five to seven pieces of okra and that depends because I usually use really long pieces of okra. I've seen like really small pieces. So typically you can kind of eyeball it based on your preference in terms of the texture. I don't like my texture to be too slimy. Like you can't avoid it, but the more okra you add, the more thicker the consistency and overall texture will be. Next question is how long does okra water last in the refrigerator? For me, I have noticed after three days, the okra water tends to go bad. So I will typically change the water along with the okra after three days. The next question is, what do you do with okra after you drink the water? Now, I just refresh the water in my jug until the actual okra goes bad, but some people have suggested to cook your okra. Um, so you can always do that route as well, obviously before it goes bad. I have incorporated it in my skincare routine, which you guys will see very shortly. So I have found more ways to use the okra before it goes bad. 
The next question is, can pregnant women drink oak water? Y'all, that is how I was introduced to oak water. I just knew pregnant women can drink it and it helps them. I didn't think I can drink oak water because I wasn't pregnant and I've never experienced that journey before. However, everyone can drink it. It has amazing benefits. But if you are pregnant, okay, let me just say I'm not a doctor, nothing close to it. So please consult your doctors, your healthcare providers, all of that jazz before you incorporate any remedies, especially if you are pregnant, please do that first. But I'm just gonna say the people that have been pregnant, they do say it helps a lot when it comes to that overall delivery slash labor process. Okra does have an excellent source of folate. There are claims that it helps to prepare the cervix for a faster and smoother delivery. Now, have I experienced that personally? Never have I. I have not. Again, ask your local pregnant person. <laughs> I don't know, as someone who has actually been pregnant if they tried it, but I definitely think it's worth it. I just know if I become pregnant in the future, I will be drinking oak water. That's for sure. <laughs> Next question is how many times can I drink oak water? Again, there is no like set research on this, you guys. This is all based on my experience. I did try oak water three times a day, every single day for about five days straight and that video is on my channel where I did see great results and I didn't have any like negative impact of that but typically when I am drinking okra water frequently I just treat it like regular water but I don't go past three times a day I would say like one to two times is really good I kind of use it like coconut water so when I'm feeling really low in energy I grab a glass of okra water instead of regular water. So just kind of do what works best for you and see how your body reacts to it. The next question is, can men drink okra water? And yes, I believe so. I don't see why not. I don't think okra discriminates y'all. But on a serious note, I found a fun fact that okra is claimed to help with prostate health. So try it out, fellas. You might like it. Now this isn't a question, it was more of a statement and it was basically saying, you know you can eat okra, you don't have to just drink the water. And of course, I know that you guys, I was just introduced to the water and to me, it just seemed like such a simple, easy thing to do. I didn't have to cook it or prepare it in a stew because typically I don't eat a lot of items like that. But yeah, you can definitely eat okra. I have been eating like the chips. I do want to make like a fish stew with it. So I can just imagine that tasting amazing. The benefits will just come from okra in general. So however you choose to intake it, you should see the benefits. But all of this is based on my experience with the water. And the very last question is, how can I stomach the taste of okra water? Like, girl, it is not giving. And yes, I understand. I will say though, I was never bothered by the taste of okra. Now when it comes to the texture, I had to get used to it a little bit. But I did make a video on my channel because I got y'all and I had some great combinations, you guys. You can pair okra water with a few natural ingredients that made it taste so refreshing and delicious. So check that video out if you just don't like the taste of okra water. And yes, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys try it out for yourselves. Again, I am not in the medical field, none of that jazz. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl that tried okra water and had a wonderful experience with it and I choose to continue to drink it. And I personally recommend it, but with everything, please consult your medical team if you have one. Please don't refrain from how your body reacts to it. If you don't have a good reaction to it, don't take it because everyone's body is different. There might be something else out there for you that will help you get these benefits if it is not okra water. So please just take what I say into consideration, but do your own research, do your own experimenting, and be careful, be safe. Everything that I share with you guys here on my channel comes from good intentions. I try to do as much thorough research as possible and I test it out for myself. So sometimes you guys don't have to go through it. So that is it for today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys very shortly in my next one. Stay blessed.